Emily, you know, I'm just wondering, how do you think Steph has performed um, at the ripe old age? Of I, I just, um, I hate that stuff. I know I'm a crusty old coach, but it's, it's, you know, it's a basketball game. There's, there's 10 people on the floor and both those guys are amazing players, but it's about uh, which team plays better, which team um, can uh, <clears throat> stay connected and stay together and, and um, execute. And um, our guys have done a good job of that. Um, so Steph, Steph was brilliant tonight. His conditioning level is um, amazing. You know, to the, they're putting him in every pick and roll and he's out there flying around defensively and then, uh, playing at such a high level on the offensive end. Uh, it's remarkable to watch him play. What do you think of the way his coaster dunk and uh, the offensive foul call? Yeah, it was an amazing dunk. I mean, we, we've seen Wiggs do that before where he can, if he gets a, a head of steam and he can, you know, get get that two-foot jump, he's so explosive. And uh, I, was, I was surprised at the call, um, but glad we had the uh, the challenge left. Uh, so can you talk about uh, Moses Moody, what has happened over the last couple games that got you confidence to use him right now? I think the matchup, um, you know, we kind of felt even before game one that Moses um, could fit this series well. Uh, he played well against Dallas in the regular season. Um, obviously, we have to throw a lot of different bodies uh, at Doncic, and uh, Moses is a, a tough defender. Um uh, you know he's got uh, good length and 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 um, and and strength and uh, and he fights. You know he's in there boxing out and getting on the floor. He got a key offensive rebound for us in the uh, the second half. I think uh, Clay turned it into a, a three point shot off of a free throw. Confidence in somebody like that along the way when they're not playing for a series or two series. Um, I think that's the, the the all year long the work that our coaching staff does with uh, our reserve players, um, helping them develop if, uh, not only through work but through confidence and perspective. And so our coaching staff has done a really good job with all of our young guys, and um, and they've uh, they've really responded well and and competed and and been ready when when I've called upon them. Did you uh, did you happen to see Steph look like he tripped over like a vendor like in the second quarter on the sideline there? Unfortunately, he's okay. But did you happen to see what happened? Uh, I I did not see it. No, sorry. See, this is Andrew's first extended playoff run, right? And we always hear the playoffs are different. And we also talked about throughout the regular season how an assertive and aggressive Andrew is, is the best version of Andrew. Have you seen maybe? like there is a playoff dream on just like a playoff Andrew kind of come out and really just assert himself throughout this series and the entire playoff run. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's um, and, and the way it's really showing up, I think is in the, on the glass. Um, and this, uh, th these have been, um, you know, some uh, great stretches of rebounding from wigs, a lot of offensive boards. He had uh, six of them tonight, you know, giving us extra possessions, um, He's just had a, a great run. He had a great season. He had a, a you know a little bit of a dry spell kind of towards the end of the year for a few weeks, but most people do. It's a long, long year. But he was an all-star for a reason. Uh, he's a, a fantastic two-way player. Uh, you don't win in the playoffs without guys like Wiggs. Um, he's, you know, we're basically mirroring uh, Doncic's minutes uh, so that Wiggs can stay on him. And um, he's another guy like Steph who um, just never seems to get tired. He's in an amazing shape. So Wiggs, it's been a brilliant year for him, and uh, it's continued in, in in the postseason. Historically, you guys have had a lot of success in the postseason with winning, um, and it's obviously really difficult to win in the postseason. Just what 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 does it take, I guess, for you guys to win as much as you guys have and had this kind of success? Well, mainly it takes the, the you know the talent of the players uh, to be able to uh, to go out and do it, and we were blessed with um, amazing talent with with um, you know not only Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Wiggs, but uh, you know Looney has has had such a, a, a huge impact um, not only this year but over the years in the playoffs for us, and we got a really nice bench uh, with some rookies and newcomers and. It's always about the players and and you know what what kind of talent you have and we have a lot of talent. Steve, you uh, you know you ran a guys a lot, right? The minutes are 
higher than yeah. normal. How aware of you that Dallas is doing the same thing and that was kind of the chess match you were playing, like the battle of attrition? Uh, quite aware. Um, you know, and obviously Otto's uh, exit um, made that a little tougher. But, um, yeah, we, we uh, played three guys, uh, you know, 39-plus minutes, which we rarely do, but it's the playoffs, so you do you do what you have to do. And before this game, you guys were the favorites to win the title. I know you don't de deal on that kind of thing, but do you feel like you should be the favorites? Is this team playing like a championship favorite? Uh, yeah, you said it in your question. I don't deal with that, that kind of stuff. So um, I, uh, I love the the position we're in. I love the fact that our team came in and, and um, got the win tonight. You know, this was the one we felt like we had to get, you know, um, Coming here up 2-0, you, you've got to take advantage of your momentum. You, you can't let a team uh, back in. And uh, we know how good Dallas is. So I'm just really proud of uh, the way our guys played tonight and competed and, and got the job done. Do you do that? you circle one or uh, – I mean, obviously you want to win all the games, but do you circle sets of games and say this, this one more, you know, whatever? I, I just think there are circumstances in every series that you have to acknowledge and um, – you know, I, I think our our comeback win in game two put us in a great spot um, coming here with only a day in between um, because we, you know, we, we were in in command, but um, but they played a great game in game two. And, um, you know, we were we were lucky enough to, to pull it out. But um, sometimes um, trying to respond, you know, to a game like that. Um, you know, coming home um, is it, difficult. We've been on the other side of that too. And uh, so we wanted to really come out and get off to a good start. And, and we did that. You uh, you guys were up eight late. Luca hit a three to cut it to eight and you called a timeout. There was only like 140 left. You're still in control, but what did you sense at that moment? Why a timeout was needed? Uh, you know, the whole point of, of the game at that stretch is, is no threes and no fouls. You know, we, we, we talk about it all the time when the game calls for that. Um, you get up, you don't fall asleep, you get up. Um, we got one of the greatest players in the world coming down. Uh, he makes threes in his sleep and the game's not over. And we just let him walk into a three pointer. So, um, we just, we fell asleep there for a second. Did it? Great. All right. All right.